Good day everyone. Today we are going to discover about the Chinese art. In the outline are the introduction of the Chinese art, evolution of Chinese art, notable and famous art and artists, and the last one is the question which is the how are you going to preserve or spread the art. Introduction of Chinese art Ancient Chinese art is traditional Chinese art made beginning the Neolithic period, which is 10,000 to 2,000 BC, and it continues through the Shan Dynasty, circa 1,600 to 1,050 BC, and Zhou Dynasty, 1,050 to 221 BC, which together are often referred to as China's Bronze Age. For Chinese art, the definition of ancient generally goes through the Qin Dynasty 221 to 206 BC and ends at the start of the Han Dynasty 206 BC to 220 AD. This was the first time that humans had worked with metal and they fashioned bronze, a metal made of copper and tin, to create weapons, ritual vessels, funerary items, and chariots. Ancient China was an agricultural society. Art of this time is often minimal, featuring bronze work of mythological creatures, elephants, and dragons. The Evolution of Chinese Art Chinese art has existed for a thousand of years and it's famously diverse in color, form, and style. It originated as early stone art from around 10,000 BC and it's comprised mainly of pottery and sculpture. Its early beginning were based on the religious and supernatural beliefs of Chinese settlers. Their painting, quite abstract in form, involved the same techniques as Chinese calligraphy. A thin brush was dipped into the color ink and minimalist brush stroke used to represent both people and landscape. Often, these paintings were produced to decorate the inside of human burial site and landscape, usually regarded as the highest form of Chinese painting, rose to preeminence during the year of the Five Dynasty from 907 to 1127 AD. Chinese art history encompasses all the visual art originating in China and produced by the Chinese cultures and artists. It is marked by many different types, ranging from Neolithic pottery to calligraphy, painting, poetry, porcelain, bronze work, jade craving, and many others. It begins from the prehistoric age up to present contemporary age. Traditional Chinese art shared commonalities, however, it was also produced differently within each dynasty, which are key distinguishing period marking the progression of Chinese art. Explore the top 5 most notable, famous Chinese arts and artists spanning about 1,400 years. The first art is the nymph of the Low River. The legend has it that Cao Zhe, a prince of the state of Cao Wei, fell in love with a migrate's daughter. However, she married his brother, Cao Pi, and the prince became dejected. Later, he composed an emotional poem about the love between the goddess and mortal. In the 4th century, Gu Kaozi, a Chinese artist, was moved by the story and illustrated the poem. Second is Emperor Taizong receiving the Tibetan envoy. In the 7th century, Tibet admired the Tang Dynasty of China. On an official state visit to China, Tibetan King Songsten Gangpu fell in love and pursued Princess Wen Qin's hand. He sent envoys and tributes to China but was refused. Consequently, Gangpu's army marched into China, burning cities until they reached Luyang, where the Tang army defeated the Tabitans. Third is skirt ladies adorning their hair with flowers. During the Tang dynasty, China had a prosperous economy and flourishing culture. In this period, the genre of beautiful woman painting enjoyed popularity. Coming from a noble background, Zhu Fang, a Chinese artist, created artworks in this genre. His painting, Girt Ladies Adorning Their Hair with Flowers, illustrate the ideals of feminine beauty and the customs of the time. Fourth is Five Oxen. Han Huang, a chancellor of the Tang Dynasty, painted his five oxen in different shape from right to left. They stand in line 
appear happy or depressed. We can treat each image as an independent painting. However, the oxen form a unified whole. Han Wang carefully observed the detail. For example, horns, eyes, and expressions shows different features of the oxen. The top 5 is the night reveals of Han Zizai. Suppose that you are an emperor, Liya, but your official, Han Zizai, misses modding audiences with you and refuses to become your prime minister. What would you do? You would try to find out what is going on, right? That is precisely what Liya did. To check what Han Zizai was doing at home, Lia sent Gu Hongzong, a court painter. Therefore, he recorded what Han Zizai was doing by painting the night veils of Han Zizai. And now, here's the top 5 most notable famous Chinese artists. First is Gu Kaozhen, born in modern Wuxi, was one of the earliest many faceted artists in China. He was an eccentric city courtier who is most famous as a painter of portraits and figures subjects and as a poet. He is recorded as having been among the first to paint a representation of Vimala Kurti. And the second artist is Zhang Sikian. Zhang Sikian was a famous painter from Liangxing country in Shandong. He had been a government official during the Su dynasty. He was a versatile and creative painter whose landscape painting was the most influential of the time. He made particular contributions to the naturalistic depiction of the the perspective of the distance and dimension in landscape painting. Spring excursion is believed to be Zan Sikian authentic work and the oldest Chinese landscape painting that has been survived. Third is Han Gan. Han was a Tang Dynasty painter who though recorded as having done wall paintings on Buddhist and Daoist themes is best remembered for his paintings of horses. Han Gan emphasized the strength and ability of horses of Tang Empire by using a totally controlled line and compositions of great clarity. Fourth, Han Huang, courtesy name Tai Xiong, formerly Du Zhengsu of Jin was an official of the Tang Dynasty, serving as Chancellor during the reign of Emperor Dizhou. He was praised by traditional historians for his frugality and personal integrity but blamed for being overly harsh and cruel in his governance. And the last famous Chinese artist is Li Sixan. Li Sixan was a Chinese painter who was later seen as the chief exponent of decoratively colored landscape style of the Tang Dynasty and as the founder of Northern School of Professional Painters. And that's all for the top 5 notable famous Chinese arts and artists. Through preservation, you can also spread the art. To preserve the condition of the art, it must be taken out and viewed on special occasions or otherwise it must be kept in storage. Collectors who chose to frame and display their works continuously should take care to keep them out of direct sunlight, artificial low light, and conditions that are not too dry and not too humid are the ideal for keeping a traditional Chinese painting in a good shape.